getting a K-pop idol makeover today by a Korean makeup artist and I'm going to take you guys with me so you can see exactly what we did to achieve this look. The moment I sat down I was so excited because I saw all the makeup in front of me and I was just ready to get started. So this is what I look like before, no makeup at all. The camera does have a little bit of a beauty filter though but I totally forgot to turn it off before this so I apologize in advance. I feel like for all Korean makeup artists it's really important to prepare the skin really well before you do makeup just that the makeup sits well on the skin. So here we are going in with a hydrating serum just to start off and we are reapplying this serum over areas that I tend to get dry and flaky. So this is on the nose, the chin as well as my forehead. I think this is a super important step if you want your makeup to come out looking natural and not cakey. And I'm really glad she took her time to smooth it out on my skin. You can also see her patting it into my skin after she smooths it out just to make it absorb a little bit better and make it less slimy so that the next step can go on smoother. Then she went on to apply a hydrating cream over the serum just to seal everything in and create that emollient barrier so that the foundation can sit on the skin really nicely. She focuses on my cheek and eye area and really gently smoothed it over my face and as well as using her patting motion just to make it absorb a little bit better. You can see she was really generous with the amount of cream that she applied on just because we were going for a very dewy look and she didn't want my face to look too cakey or dry. Next she applied a lip balm for me just so that we could prepare my lips for the lipstick later on down the line. And not only did she apply this on my lips, she also applied it on the areas around my lips just so that it would stay hydrated throughout the whole time. It also prevents the lipstick from bleeding or cracking around the lines of your lips. Next she used a spoolie just to brush out my brows and see what the actual shape of my brows were. And then she went in with some little scissors just to trim the extra long hairs as well as clean up my brows. Finally, we are getting started with the makeup. First step is to mix up the foundation color. So she custom mixed this foundation color for me using her pro makeup kit. So I wasn't able to get a product recommendation. She spent a long time mixing it and you can see that she's applying it with short strokes with a flat brush. I really liked how delicate she was with the application and she was very precise and she went over the same areas multiple times just to give that extra coverage. She was super patient on the base because with Korean makeup, it's all about the base. It's all about looking like it's skin. So she put a lot of effort into making it look natural and perfect. You can see that she also goes over my eyelids and my eyebrows just so that she can make the whole complexion even. This is where I learned a super cool step is that after she uses the brush to apply the actual foundation, she uses a sponge to pat it out and blur it into my skin. So she does this very gently with a big puffy sponge where she dabs the makeup into my skin. You can see that she's not actually pushing or spreading the foundation with a sponge, she's simply just patting it so that it stays full coverage and it stays in place. Moving on to a close up so you guys can see her technique a little bit better, you can see that she's laying on the foundation stroke by stroke to cover the whole area. And you can see that she's smoothing out any areas that are streaky so that when she blends with the sponge it's a lot easier to smooth out. And once again with the sponge she's blurring the foundation out by gently patting it into my skin. She uses a big fat sponge so that when she pats she's not actually applying too much pressure onto my face because that will cause premature wrinkles. Next we move on to concealer, so I told her that I have really bad dark circles that are pretty hard to cover, so she mixed this custom concealer for me again with her pro makeup kit. She's using the same technique where she's applying it with a flat brush and then dabbing it out with a sponge. She starts by going in with a colour corrector which is a peachy colour just to brighten my dark circles and cancel out any darkness. Then she goes in with a colour a little bit lighter than my skin tone just to brighten the area and you can see that she's focusing it on my eye bag where it looks very very dark and it has that shadow. So she's essentially covering up that shadow so it doesn't look as dark or creased. And this turns out really well in photos as well so if you guys feel like you have a specific line under your eye that just never gets covered, go in with a lighter colour just over the area that is dark and you'll see a difference. Now she's going in with a lighter foundation just to highlight my face and you can see she is focusing on the areas that are meant to be brighter. So under the eyes, on the tip of the nose, on the chin and the forehead. You can see that she's concentrating the product towards the middle of my face because naturally that's where the light would hit first. 
So usually that is in the tip of the nose, the nose bridge, the fronts of the cheeks, as well as the forehead and the chin. And again, she's using a sponge just to smooth everything out and make everything look flawless and blended. Now she's using a setting powder to prep the eyes. We're about to start her eye look, so she's just cleaning up that area and making sure it's absorbing any extra oils. This way the eyeshadow applies better. Moving on to brows, she's using a brow pencil just to gently fill in my brows. I asked for a Korean makeup look, so the brows are usually a little bit straighter rather than arched. And you can see that she's creating that straight shape with her pencil. She was very delicate in her technique where she was creating actual hair strokes with each stroke of a pencil. And I really loved that she was double checking her work in the mirror every single time. Here's a little close up of her drawing the brows. You can see that she's not using heavy or thick strokes. Very light, very gentle, just to emulate the hair on your brows. Next up, she's using a brown shade just to gently shade in my eyes and create that contour and that deep set look. This is to make my eyes stand out more, especially since I'm getting photographed later on. She's basically creating a shadow around the entire eye area so that it looks more deep set and bigger. She also brings this color down to the bottom lash line just to define that eye look. And this is the base she's going to use later on when she creates her egg yourself. She's using a color that is brown enough to create that shadow but not dark enough where it looks like I am a zombie. And then she goes on with a deeper color just around the edges of my eyes as well as my lash line just to create that depth. She uses the same color to contour my nose and you can see she's just gently sweeping it along the bridge of my nose so that it looks sharper and taller. And you can see that she's really connecting the lines between the nose and the eyes so that it looks more natural rather than just two lines down the side of my nose. She's also blending that nose contour out so that it looks more natural like an actual shadow hitting my face. And before she goes in with the blush and the contour on my face, she uses a pencil to spot conceal any blemishes that I have. Now I have a couple of blemishes on my face and some acne scarring, so she's using a pencil because it has the most coverage that it can provide. Because the pencil is a little bit harder, the concealer actually stays on your face rather than using a liquid concealer that kind of blends away when you tap it. And again, you can see her using her brush and sponge technique just to blend it all out. Once my blemishes have been covered completely, she goes in with the same contour powder just to contour the edges of my face. She clearly loves her contour powder and I asked her what color it was, but she said it was a pro tool, so I don't have access to it, unfortunately. But she's using a big fluffy brush around the edges of my cheeks as well as my jaw just to create that sharp jawline. And to also make my face look a little bit smaller in my photos. Then we move on to the eyes where she uses a gel liner just to create that wing for me. And you can see that instead of creating the wing upwards like a traditional cat eyeliner, she uses her angled brush to draw a wing that goes outwards, which follows the natural direction of my lash line. And you can see that she's using the eyeliner to just drag my lash line out. By this time my hairstylist came in, so just ignore him in the background. I'm gonna have a whole separate video for him soon. But here we are focusing on the bottom lash line where she's using a lighter eyeshadow color just to highlight the areas of the egg cell, which is the fatty part of the under eye to make it look a little bit more brighter and 3D. I told her I really want a glittery look, so she's moving on with a very, very glittery eyeshadow on the middle of my lids. And as the final step to my eye makeup look, she's applying thick, heavy glitter onto my bottom lash line. And this is to really draw attention to the eyes when you are getting photographed. And this glitter is really the essence of a K-pop look. You can see that the camera picks it up so well and it really adds a sparkle to your eye. I'm in love. Next, she went in with a coral blush on the middle of my cheek just to create that cute concept. And notice that she's focusing most of the color on the centers of my cheeks rather than the sides. And for the lips, we're going in with a pink lip stain. She's focusing most of the color on the center of my lips and then blending it out. This makes the lips look more natural rather than chiseled. 
And finally, she finishes the look off with the illuminating highlighter just across the tip of my nose, my nose bridge, my forehead, under my eyes, and above my lips. This really makes it look more glowy and makes you look more awake as well. And this is the finished look. What do you guys think? I absolutely loved it and it turned out so well in the photos. Stay tuned for the hair tutorial. I requested a Won Young hairstyle and he really delivered. I cannot wait for you guys to see the photo shoot and how it turned out. So please let me know in the comments which video do you want to see first? The hair transformation or the photo shoot? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!